Good afternoon and uh, welcome to Crown Talk Pottery uh, here in the southwest of the United Kingdom. Today we're going to have a go at making this little fella, this little cow. We've had a few requests for making cows or making calves. So we've got a little calf here that we're going to do out of stoneware clay. So first of all, we need to weigh out some clay. This is not a template piece. This is entirely a, a pinch pot and, and put it together piece. So there's no template going along with this. To make this one this size, I've got 180 grams of clay here, which is going to make up the body. I've got 30 grams of clay here, which is going to make up the main part of the head. And 10 grams of clay, which is going to make up the nose. Also need a few tools. So... You'll need some sort of knife to be able to cut your pieces. You'll also need something to smooth it with. And as you know, I like to use a lollipop stick. This one has been cut at the end. You can do that if you want to. Doesn't have, doesn't, you don't really need to for this, but that actually gives you another quite useful tool. A paintbrush, which you're going to use to make the sockets for the eyes. And a sharp pencil, for which you will find out what we're going to use that for later. I'll put those just out as that side there. Let's put this little fella up here, just slightly out of view, so you can see him there. We've also got, of course, a pot here of slip. Looks like he's going on a little trip of his own. Some of our banding wheels are very well bearing, and they tend to have a little mind of their own, so I don't know whether he'll stay put. So let's take, start off with taking the 180 grams of clay. Put you down there, right. And what I'm going to do with it first of all is I'm just going to roll it in my hands into a piece that's sort of chunky, not quite round, sort of like a big fat sausage. Like that. Flatter, flattish at one end, flattish at the other, and that sort of shape. Then I'm going to get my knife and I'm going to cut across in it. I don't want to go right through. I'm going to go down about halfway like that in one direction then I'm going to do the same in the other direction like that. then I'm going to open it up like that and then each one of these I'm going to mold into a leg so I pinch it and shape it so if I sound a bit hoarse it's a little bit of a cold at the moment so that's one leg Repeat for the others, trying to get them the same size, of course, otherwise he's going to be a wonky cow. Another like that, another one like that, and one like that. That gives us the basic starting point for the body. Let's move it down a little bit. And what I want to do now is with each leg, get them a little bit smoother, a little bit rounder. And then I want to pinch them in a little bit in the middle so that he's got a, almost a little ball of clay at the end. Like that. That's going to be his hoof. That. Repeat on each leg. So smooth it, pinch it. Trying to make the, the balls on the end the same size. If you have to, sort of nick some clay from further up. Push it down onto the foot. front let's do the same around the back at this point I say the front and back either could be the front and either could be the back whichever we'll make that decision once we've got it all put together and see what it's like so it's just about just molding it shaping it pinching it flattening it out a bit and then when you've got four legs like that stand him on the board and give him a bit of a pat I'll make sure that all four legs are the same length quite chunky legs for this to make So now we've got our body with some nice chunky legs. I think this fella's going to be better than the other one. I think he's going to have even more chunky legs. We'll see. Put that to one side and we start working on the head. So we take that ball of clay, which is the 30 gram ball of clay, and we roll that again round and round in your hands. Get as round as you can. Get on the board, roll it around a bit there as well. Try and get rid of any uh, cracks and things. So you end up with that sort of shape. It's a nice round ball of clay. And we do the same with the 10 grams. Roll 
it around and around and around in your hands, on the board, whatever. So you get a nice even piece. So if you've got any cracks, put it down on the board, give it a rub. Roll around and around and around like that. So you get something that's round. Then we make it oval. So just go between your fingers and just pinch it around. Like that, make it sort of an oval shape. Then we go back to our bigger lump of head and we our knife and I'm going to scratch it to so stick it fairly low down on the head so what we're actually aiming for is that the the bottom of the, the muzzle if you like will be level with the bottom of the head here you don't want it halfway up it's going to be like that so we scrape the <laughs> come back here we scrape the uh, the back of the muzzle we scrape on the head where it's going to go which I think is there nice and low and then we put some of this liquid clay that we got, slip onto there, get our muzzle, put it on, give it a wiggle, back and forth till it stops moving, so we know he got his nose on. Then I'm going to press it a bit flatter, so I'm going to push it in, but now I need to make sure it's going to stay on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of my working clay that I've got here, and make a coil. Tiny, tiny one we want here, really thin one that will fit neatly into the, the gap between the muzzle and the head. And I get my tool, smooth it in, push it into the gap, smooth it onto there, all the way around. If your coil's not big enough, don't panic, just use what you've got and then make another little one just to go in. I made a very lucky guess here and actually getting it exactly the right length. It wasn't planned. Sometimes miracles happen. I'll just smooth that in a little bit. So what I've got here now, that's going to be my hand there. That's going to be the bottom of the head. So I want to push that nose down a little bit more. So we've got a nice patch here at the top to put the eyes on eventually. So squash that in a bit more, make it nice and chunky. But again, make sure that we've got enough forehead, if you like, to put the eyes on. Like that. Okay. Then we attach it to the body. So this is the point where we look at the body and decide which is going to be the front and which is going to be the back. So this one's slightly sloping. Um, so I think it would be quite neat to have the head at the top, I think, on this one. Uh, so it's sloping down towards his bum that way. So now I take my head, again, making sure you know where the bottom is. So that's the bit that's flatter. And that's the bit that's going to be stuck on. So we now scrape the back of the head where it's going to attach to the body. Scrape the body. Wrap it up, make sure it's going to stick. Nice collop of liquid mud. And then we put it on. Now at this point, you can also decide how you want it to look. So this fella's got his head a little bit off to one side, a little bit angled. So again, like here, so you're looking at the camera. So we could have him straight on like that. We could have him looking up, have him looking down, down to the side of his head, you know, or just looking up and looking really cute, like, come and cuddle me. So this fella, though, I'm going to have to look him slightly over to one side like that. Okay. Having decided where you want it, put it in place, and again, give it a wiggle until it stops moving. So at the moment you can see it's still very loose, it's not sticking yet. So we'll keep doing that until eventually, there we go, it's starting to catch now. There we go. Right, then again, another piece of working clay. Over there, mate. Again, roll it out into little thin coils. Remember if you're struggling with your coils, look, roll long, roll gentle, don't be too hard on it. Plenty of, come over here, you'll see. <laughs> Plenty of time for it to move. Move your hand up and down the, the clay as you go, just to keep it nice and even. Yeah. And then this is going to go around the neck. Keep the head on. It's going to go around there. Like that. Then we get our tool again and like we did with the nose we just go all the way around pitching it down onto the body and up onto the head to make sure it's going to hold the head in place like that. we have a 
a student called Frankie who works with us. I have a nasty feeling she's going to want to pick, kidnap my cows because she absolutely adores cows. Like that, like that. So all the way around. When you first do it, it doesn't matter if it's a bit rough because you smooth it in afterwards. So having got it fixed, I'm just going to smooth it down a little bit. Not worry about getting it too smooth because if you look at the back, we, we sort of have it nice and rough, give them a fur a fur coat later on, so it doesn't matter too much if it's a little rough, but we want to make sure that it's strong enough to keep everything in position. Okay. Now, you've got to make it look a little bit more like a cow, so the first thing he's going to need is ears. So I'm going to take a little bit of working clay, I'm going to squish it up with my hands, get you out of the way in a minute, and this again, I'm going to roll it out. So straight away, I put a bit too much pressure on it. You see how it's actually no longer round. If that happens, pinch it back again. Just be a little bit more gentle with it next time. If you're trying to do this when you're stressed and in a hurry, it's very difficult to get round coils, even when you've made hundreds of them and this one is still slightly flat. Let's get it right. There we go. Now, obviously, I don't need all this clay. It's going to be one heck of an ear if I did. This is going to be two ears. So I'm going to roll it out to about the right thickness, which is sort of about the thickness of a, um, a Sharpie pen or something like that, you know, on these board markers. Okay, then I'm going to tidy up the end. This has got a bit of a hole in it, so I'm just going to nip that off. We don't want that. And I'm going to shape it round. Make that to the end. And then I'm going to get the side of my thumb onto the clay like that. And I push it in, so I sort of pinch it like that to make what looks like a little bit like a spoon on the end. Then, just using my fingers, I now just round that off. Now, by doing this as one continuous piece, if I nip that off at the other end and do the same again, I've got two ears that are pretty much the same size. So again, get my thumb, pinch it in, and then just round it off to make the ear. I'm making anything for an animal in pairs, it's always a good idea to do them together before you try to put them onto the creature and then you've got a chance to look at them and compare whether they're the same. So it's nothing worse than having spending ages getting the ear, one ear right and you put it on and then you can't get the other ear right and then you're forever moulding it and taking it off and everything. So having done that, I'm now just going to cut off the bit that I pinched. Okay, so I've now got these two ear sections here. Put that out there. And then I'm just going to smooth that off a little bit more. And then where it's flat here at this end, I'm just going to pinch it in a bit. Right, do the same with the other one. So again, just round it off a little bit. Now I've got it. I'll get my finger in there. Pinch it in a little bit. Then we score while it's flat here on both ears. Okay, so on the flat end. And then we get our cow back. So we want the ears to go fairly high up on the head. So let's get some slip. And what I'm going to do is just going to dip it in there. And they go quite high up, like that here. Okay. One ear. Do the other one. Dip it in the slip. The other ear in. And before you actually fix them. Make sure you look at it and make sure that they're in the right place for either side of the head. It's looking a little bit like a moose at the moment, but hopefully he'll look a little bit more cow-like before we're done. Then we get our tool and we work it in. Get a little bit lower than that, that's better. On either side and around the back, again, get a little bit of working clay. <clears throat> Roll it out. And I'll put a little coil around the back of each ear, which you then work in again nice and gently so you don't knock the ear off with your tool. So, yeah, put a little bit more in there. There we go, got it. Okay. Under there, around here as well. There, sorry, that's our dog. She's not too good this morning. A little bit of a cough. 
that. Okay, so now I've got his ears on. Next thing is I'm going to give him his nose. And for this, I'm going to use the paintbrush. So making sure you look at him straight on, you put the paintbrush in. First, we'll just make two nostrils like that. And then cows have quite big, wide nostrils. So we then just use in the paintbrush, we just widen those nostrils up using nice big fat nostrils. Like that. And then I'm going to give him a smile. So I get my knife and we cut a V. So I'm using the back of the knife just to mark it rather than the sharp side. And we mark a V like that. And then we use in the back of the knife, we just carry that round up onto the side of the face. Give him a little, his little smile. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start to put some fur on him. I'm going to do the eyes last because I don't want to mess them up. So I'm going to get a little bit of clay first of all. I'm going to give him this like on this fellow. See, he's got this little sort of top knot there. So I get a little bit of clay, flatten it out. It doesn't have to be a particularly good shape as long as it will fit on the top of the head like that. Then we again let me scrape the back of it. Let that slip on it. Put that in position, wiggle it on again, and then smooth it down. I get my tool again, just gonna smooth it down here at the back, like that, and then again using the side of the tool or the side of the knife, whichever you prefer, just gonna rough it up a bit, make it look like fur. Uh, this one's got a bit more of a shaggy top knot than the other one. I might have to take some of it away. I might need a haircut at this rate. Because I think I've just covered up where his eyes are going to go. So, sorry, mate. These have got to come off a bit. Take that away. There we go. Better. Right. So, again, just use that. Just okay. like this furry patch between his ears. Like that. Right, next I'm going to do this fella's eyes. So again, I'm going to use the paintbrush. Uh, I'm going to push it in. Now, if you look at a real cow, you'll find that these eyes do not match up to a real cow, but that's fine. We're going for the cute and funky look. So I'm going to put them sort of pretty much above his nostrils. Make them a good size, like that. He looks quite cute just with his eye sockets, but we'll see if we can improve on that. And we get a little bit of clay. <clears throat> and rolled it into a ball. Now I'm just going to have a mouthful of my tea. That's better. Right. So get a little ball, roll it. Now that obviously is far too big. So what we then do is we cut that in half. Like that. Roll it again. Let's see if that will fit. I think that's probably about the right size. So let's see if the other one will now fit as well. Again, before you put them in, make sure you get them and look at them and make sure that they're pretty much the same size. Then we get our slip again. We dip, we dip our eyeball in the slip and we pop it into the socket with the slip on the inside. Like that. Okay, one eye. Two eyes. Okay. Then look at it, make sure that they're pretty much the same size and they're pretty much the same depth. So that one is actually a much deeper into the, the head than the other. So let's make that socket a little bit wider. So this one can go in better. Like that. That's better. Okay. <clears throat> Then we get our sharpened pencil, so it starts to make him look a little bit more funky. And we make a hole into the eye. Like that. Okay. So he's now starting to get a bit of character, this little fella. 
Next, I'm going to give him a tail. I'm not sure that one eyeball isn't still bigger than the other, so let's see if we can push that a little bit more. Okay. So, let's give him a tail. All cows deserve a tail. So, again, roll a piece of clay. Now, you can either have the tail hanging straight down, or you can have the tail coming round as a flick, entirely up to you. Um, we make a lot of cows here in all sorts of shapes and forms, and one of our trademarks is that we have this little flick of the tail. So, before I do that, though, I need to make this tail a bit shorter, because you can see that here it's dragging on the ground. So, let's uh, shorten his tail a touch. Okay. Then, scrape the top of the tail. Add some slip. Oh, I've got various slip brushes all over the place. Again, come in slip. Put that on the base of the spine there. And again, another little bit of clay around that slip in order to. <coughs> Let them out. Take them out with you. <laughs> Sorry, my daughter's just come to the door and uh, the dogs have. Decided that she's uh, <laughs> needs to be barked at. Okay, let's uh, do that, and then we're just going to flick the tail round. Like that. Okay. So that's our trademark flick. Like that, and then I'm just going to give him a little bit of a tassel on the end of his tail, and we're just going to get the knife, squeeze it down onto the body rough it up. Then to finish him off we need to give him a nice coat and we need to give him some feet. So we're gonna start off with his feet. So I'm just smoothing out his hooves a bit. Like that. So again I want nice chunky legs but I want them thinner above the hooves so it just gives him a little bit more character. Like that. And I can uh, put a little split in his feet. I can either do that with the back of the knife or with the tool. I'm just going to get the back of the knife in there, give him some little, little hooves there. I think the technical term is they have claws, but that never sounds seems right. So I'd say a cow's got claws. Okay, so we do that again on there, and that again on the back feet as well. So we've now got little cloven hooves. And then I get my tool, and I'm just going to go all over him and just rough him up to give him like a, a fur coat. Uh, all the way around there. And then this gets away with, uh, if you're a bit rough with your handling of him, this is a great way for covering up all the bits of clay that are not as smooth as they should be. Uh, I'm sort of trying to follow the direction the coat would go. So you've got a spine down the middle so I'm sort of coming down the flowing down the body like that across there like that do the same on this side okay. Okay, let's tidy him up under there make sure his legs are straight seems to have gone a bit wonky in the front here he's got one foot in front of the other that's fine he's taking a little stroll this one that. Check his eyes are okay. And there we go. One little, one little cow okay, to join the herd. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and uh, look forward to uh, hearing your comments or even better if you'd like to post some of your makes that would be quite good fun as well. Uh, in the meantime, have a good time. Bye!